the ground is just Previously, we were stalled on the groundbreaking of Shay's earth bag bedroom due to the lack of rain. The monsoon season has begun. It was quite spectacular, so much lightning. It's time to get those shovels out. And dig. My friends Esther, Deborah, and Grace came over for the first day and helped me dig a little bit there. The rain only got only so much wet, so we couldn't do a lot of work, but at least that made it quick. Looks fabulous. Ah. <laughs> Looks good, guys. We got a really good start, and it's supposed to rain again today. Thank you, guys. Okay. So we're making poles for our acoustic panels that we're making. We cut down some yucca branches or whatever you call those like flower branches from the yucca trees, and now we are skinning them. I'm giving them a little bit of sandpaper. We recently got a few comments linking us to a guy who put together some acoustic panels using towels. Several people commented that we should check that out, which we did, and we just love the idea. We want to make some of these panels for our new recording studio downstairs in the Muse Art Studio. So we went ahead and, and built them. Bree, you came up with your own design this time. I've done something inspired by the design. They're a little smaller because the, the skinnier something is, the better it fits on a round wall. This is gonna lay over the top like this. I had this idea of having it two-toned because we weren't doing a box frame, but we were trying to figure out unique ways to be able to pin both the towels together and also put it up on the walls. Well, why don't we just put two sticks together and tie it? Yeah, because we needed weight on the bottom and something to hold it up. Need a notch. That one there. With wire on the side and kind of, I don't know, kind of a, a hopefully unique design. Okay, think that's good enough. Yeah, do, do something. something different. And use kind of some of the things around the property too, which is yucca. Yeah. We use all of our towels at home, so instead mm -hmm. we purchased some and uh, we found some for like $2.50 at the store. Yeah, so it was a really cheap build. We did a little sawing up top here along the seam of these here. So this just kind of keeps it looking clean and nice and a little sharper. I'm really happy with the outcome of them. I think that they're fun wall decorations. And they're actually, we put them up in the sound studio here. They're behind us. One, mm -hmm. you can kind of see this one hanging down a little bit here. Add a little splash of color to the room. Amazing what some bathroom towels will do. <laughs> <laughs> so they ended up being about $5 a panel. We have them behind the podcast on that yellow wall. I like them so much, I'm probably going to take them back and make another <laughs> another chunk of them. Make another set of them. Maybe we can do that. Yeah, we easily can do that. There's our water catchment system got all of our barrels full, so we decided to use that water. So mom hooked a hose up to one of the barrels and drained the water in there and softened it all up. All right, so now it's really soft and deep. Lots of the water had soaked in, so we're able to dig it down to that level now. We're going down one yard stick. This, three feet. That's Shay's order. This is going to be the one circle that's going to be three foot lower than the other circle. Fine. How's it going, guys? It's going beautiful. Dogs, we're helping. They gave up. But they gave up. The dogs were such a ginormous help. They moved dirt and moved sticks. Big. They did loosen up the dirt. If they were able to actually get the dirt out of the hole, that would be a lot more productive rather than just moving it from one place to another. You know, she has a point. At least it's the... The stuff that the counts. Mm-hmm. He's watching you dig and he goes, I can do that. So he starts digging. I mean... Kind of cute. It's pretty amazing. Good boy. Give it up. It's getting deep. At the root of our problems right there. Root herd. <laughs> right there, it stops like that's it. Down to the dry. The level. <laughs> Look at Bullet. Good boy, Bullet. Dig. Dig for celebration. So assuming that everyone does the same amount of work. It's gonna take us like two days to complete. Work, 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 work. In the 
studio, we still were lacking curtains, and I've been kind of putting it off, but um, I decided this week that it was time to get those curtains done. I got a really nice sewing machine. Sometimes she'll use it. Every 10 minutes, it's been, Shay, I broke the needle. Can you replace it for me? So I'll go in and I change it for her. And Look what she makes me do. And then she'll buy me a new package of needles. And you know, it is because of that very thing as to why I was putting off making the curtains. My friend Margie came over and she gave me all kinds of sewing tips. And I must say, she's only broke one needle since the session. She showed me how you work with the machine. And if it starts to make a little noise, you don't push on the thing further, which is what I do. It's like, it's like oh, it's hard. So I push harder to go through. <laughs> That's not what you do. <laughs> you stop and see what's going on. <laughs> Anyway, those little tips, it just made sewing, it was actually really a lot of fun. And, and we took those curtains and we put uh, a blanket on the back to make them um, uh, weatherproof. Uh, thicker, yeah. Yeah, and that works really good for keeping the heat and the cool out. And I did two burlap windows. And then that actually, that blanket kind of shows through. So, and then we'll do the balance as the opposite. We had some other curtain material that matched in there, mm -hmm. so we did those. Since we've put the curtains up, this has been keeping the heat out really nicely, so it's cooler in the room. And private for you, too, because she's mm -hmm. been, that's kind of been her temporary room until we can get. When the door curtains are up, then yeah. it'll actually feel private. Yeah, and that's the next thing. I'm working right now on a long yucca pole, and I already have some curtains. Garen is going to put together a bracket system for that. When I was sanding on that long pole, here came Bullet. He saw me work and he wants to get in there. He's like, <laughs> he's chewing off the end, which is perfect because I had to cut that end off. He was all cute helping out. We decided to use the pressure washer to cut the caliche out. and that pressure washer just cuts right through it. We'd cut out with the pressure washer, then we'd break out the chunks. And it worked surprisingly well. I'm really bummed about that shovel though. That was your favorite? Yeah, it was. This wimpy one will have to be my favorite from now on. I was getting so dirty with all the mud just shooting back up at me. I think it's functional if you're from mind getting dirty. Wow. I'm gonna go put a quick shield on it. A shield so you can put it right against the ground, Karen. Yeah. I mean, it really does good over that caliche. Decided to make a quick little shield for it. Out of a five gallon bucket lid. Karen, I think that you have a dirt beard. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got dirt legs, too. <laughs> Are we going to try it out? Mm -hmm. And it worked really good. How did Operation Shield go, Darren? Surprisingly amazing. Was so this whole um, using water to cut this pretty, pretty easy? I think so. More fun than what they're doing. I gotta try it now. I'll go get the shoes on. Careful, because we already broke one shovel. Yeah, we've noticed they're a little brittle. Just gotta get my boots on. I would definitely do it again. It worked. It worked really, really good. appreciate you being here. Stay tuned for next time when we get the post installed. It's mom and dad's 25th anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary mom, mom and dad. dad. We decided to give them a week off so we won't be having a weekly peak next Friday. We'll possibly have a Wednesday podcast. Us kids haven't decided on that yet. If you can think of a subject we can do, please post down in the comments. We'll be back up and running full steam in two weeks. Stay tuned. Consider supporting us on Patreon.
we put one of these panels together live on the podcast. No, whatever, I don't know how you tell that, but <laughs> talked and chilled and put together one of these, which was a lot of fun to do. It gets to be fun. fun because there's interaction at the same time mm -hmm. uh, with uh, chat. You yeah. come in with your comments and Laughing jokes. and joking, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. If you want to see that, watch Bree and Bryson and Shay build one. Um, check out last Wednesday's podcast. Link down in the description. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Just woke up and she has nothing to say. <laughs> I am serious. Curious about the smudge on your camera right there. Where? It's like a stick. Look at it. It's can you good. wipe it? It's a good. It's like a mud splatter. Oh, it might be from over there. <laughs> pretend Happy like you, pretend anniversary. Like this is why I married a funny man so that I'd have funny children for my videos for the poopers. Save people's, um, their people's legs like that. It ain't big enough. Look at this. He's no, big enough. No, 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 no